What does the Conservative government have to fear from an audit into Senator Pamela Wallen's travel expenses? Quite a lot, actually. An RCMP investigation is already underway into the $90,000 check written by the Prime Minister's former Chief of Staff, Nigel Wright, to Senator Mike Duffy's. Ms. Wallen's case is different, but the potential taint remains the same. If Ms. Wallen is found to have improperly claimed expenses, the focus will once again shift to someone who the Prime Minister himself appointed and became, by all accounts, a party stalwart. Ms. Wallen, who has left the Tory caucus and now sits as an independent, has already repaid thousands of dollars. There may yet be more to pay back. Wallen has apologized and says mistakes were made, but that she was not attempting to bilk the system. Still, all this contrition may not be enough to prevent Canadians, and more importantly, Conservative supporters from passing judgment. The government built its brand on fiscal discipline and cleaning up the ethical scandals that plagued previous Liberal governments. Now three words, Senate, spending, scandal, have threatened that brand. The only question that remains is how much damage has been done. Of course, the Senate story doesn't end with the Conservatives, and the Tories will take great pains point to the fact that former Liberal Senator Mac Harb is also under investigation by the RCMP. For the Conservative government, the attempt in the coming weeks and months will be to make Senate reform, look Canada, we're cleaning up this rot, the big issue. Stephen Harper has said Canadians know he did not get into politics to defend the Senate and his party has been trying hard to make it more accountable. Whether Canadians believe him or care is the question.